to everyone, especially to my listeners and viewers. Good day to all. This is Marcin G. Klebe and welcome to my channel. So this time we are now in another topic in Calculus 2. So this topic entitled The Continuity. So I think it is not familiar from you. So if you want to understand or for you to know about this topic. So please let's stay with this video. So what is continuity in calculus? In calculus, a function is a continuous at x is equal to a, a if minus all three of the function following condition are met. So remember, in solving this, um, in solving this kind of um, topic, we need to follow the three conditions. First, we have the function is defined at x is equal to a that is f of a equal as a real number number two the f limit of the function as x approaches a exists three is the limit of the function as x approaches a is equal to the function value at x is equal to a so we must always remember the importance of continuity which is is a yes explained by the intermediate value theorem it is says that if a continuous function takes a positive value at one point and a negative value at another point then it must state the value zero somewhere in between so for you to understand i have here some example we have the example number one which is if is f of x continuous at x is equal to 0 so the example is questioning if the x or the f of x continuous at x is equal to 0 so we must first check the continuity at x of x is equal to 0 so we must get on how to check it by watching or taking from the graph so the first question is the function defined at x is equal to 0 the answer is yes because f of 0 is equal to 2 right as you can see the graph here then number 2 does the limit of the function as x approaches 0 exist the answer is yes Number three, does the limit of the function as x approaches zero equals the function value at x is equal to zero? Yes, it is yes. Since all three conditions are met, f of x is continuous at x is equal to zero. So as I have said earlier, if you meet the three conditions of this topic. So I have here some example or the example number two. If f of x continuous at x is equal to negative 4. So, we must always follow what the graph shows. So, what we have going to do? We need to check the continuity at x is equal to negative 4. So, we check the same three conditions as I've, ha as I've said earlier. So, the function is defined f of negative 4 is equal to 2, right? Where to the limit exists? Yes, the limit here in the graph is exist. Number three, the function value does not equal the limit. Which point this continuity at x is equal to 4. So I think it is clear for you to understand with this kind of topic. So if you are new in my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell below for you to watch my next upcoming video. Thank you and God bless to all.